explain it to you how they we have this question under conditional permutation. The question goes thus How many numbers greater than 3000 can be formed from the digit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 without repeating any of them? Now, for us to solve this kind of a question, I'm going to make use of box illustration. Don't forget that the number we are having are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. From these 5 numbers we have here now, if I make use of box illustration, I divide it into this form like this. Now, you can see that from this box illustration here, this is using all 5 digits. I'm good. I'm making use of all the five digits now, which is one, two, three, four, five. If you look at it from here, the value we are going to have is 12,345. If you look at it from here, we are going to have 54,321. Take any of the values and make it to be the first uh, digit you are going to make use of. You are going to have a number or a figure or that will be greater than 3,000. So that will be. Equal to using all the five digits, we make also our five permutation five, which is equal to five factorial over five minus five factorial is equal to five factorial all over zero factorial. Don't forget that zero factorial is equal to one, so we're having five factorial all over one, which is equal to five times four times three times two times one all over one is equal to 120 numbers so using five digits we are going to have 120 numbers that will come out of it for the four that will be greater than three thousand take note of that now we cannot stop there now the digits that we have in three zero 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 is one two three four we are having four digits there so i make we have make use of five digits so let's make use of four digits from this number given to us here now. Now, for us to make use of four digits, I'm going to take make use of this box for the explanation now. If you want to make use of four digits, if you start from one, let's assume we use one, two, three, four. With the value we are going to have there will be less than 3,000. Whichever one you mix, if you start from one, whichever one you plus, even if you put five here, that will be 1,005 something. So it will be less than uh, to be less than 3,000. So we cannot make use of one, we cannot make use of two as well. Because if you make use of two as well, the value you'll be getting will be less than 3,000. So what we can only make use of is either, so using, this is using four digits now. Using any of the four digits now. Now, the value you're going to make use of will either be five, or four or three. This one will be the one that will fix into this uh, first box here. Now, now, and the number of times these numbers can be able to fix it. You know, it is three values that we have there will be three. Now, the next box, the next box that we have here will be able to fit in any of this number again, which can have how many times? Four times. To be able to fix into any of this box, which is you know the value we have here, all the value we have here, they can fit in here. So if they, we want to choose the one here, the one that will come here can have the opportunity of fixing to one, two, three, four. That will be four times. Then the one that will be coming here have the opportunity of fitting to one, two, three, three times. The one that will come in here have the opportunity of fixing into one, two. That is two times. Now using four digits. The number that will be formed that will be greater than 3000 will be 3 times 4 times 3 multiplied by 2, which will give us uh, 72. 72 numbers. 72 numbers. Now, we have been able to get the value we use when we make use of 5 digits, and we have been able to get the value, the numbers, total numbers that will be greater than 3000 when we make use of. Four digit. Now, can we make use of three digit 
it is impossible because even three thousand itself is four digit. So the any value that will be any digit that will be making use of that is less than four digit will not be able to be greater than three thousand. So we cannot make use of three digits. So this is where it's going to stop. Now, in conclusion, we can now say that that uh, the number, the total number that can be formed from one to three, four, five without repetition will be equal to what do you have here? 120 plus 72 which is equal to uh, which will be equal to 192 numbers so those are the numbers that you can uh, that you can that can be formed from 1 to 3 4 5 that will be greater than 3000 without repetition thanks for taking part of this class please do stay tuned the question we have here are to be solved right now. Now, they are likely to be opposite to one another because in this question here, it's telling us that we should let those letters that are repeated to be together, while this is telling us that we should let those letters not to be together. So let's look at the way we are going to solve them now. So we have this word here, which is percentage. The letters to be placed together are these letters E, letter E. So let's look at the remaining letters now after we remove them P, R, C, N, T, A, G. Now these three E's can either come into any of those places available. Let me show those places. It can either come before this P, come here. It can come here, it come here, it can come here, it can come here, it can come and it can as well come here. It has how many places it can come to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, this letter that we have before we start putting the E in, how many of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is 7 factorial multiplied by. Then the number of positions where those three E's that are together that can come into how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. Which will eventually be equal to 7 factorial multiplied by 8. It's like we say 8 times 7 factorial. That is 8 factorial. And 8 factorial is equal to uh, 40320. That is the answer. To that question that is the number of arrangement uh, that we can use this letter uh, that this percentage can have when these three E's comes together that's the number of arrangement we can have for it now in the next question the next question is telling us that in how many ways can five boys and three girls sit in a line if the girls do not sit next to each other Five boys and three girls. We have five boys, three girls. Now, in this five boys, three girls, since it is the five boys that we are to make use of there, let's represent, let boys represent by B. Now, this is the five boys we have there. We have this five boys there. B, 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 B. Now, for these five boys to be there, now, you say, when, if the girls do not sit next to each other, if the first girl sit here, we are having how many girls? Five boys and three girls. If the first girl sit here, the next, this first girl will sit here, the next girl can sit in any of these places, and the next girl will sit in the remaining position. If the next girl sits here, then the next girl will sit in any remaining position. In this regard now, I can now say that first girl has how many places? Six ways. Six places to sit. Places. First girl, one, two, three, four, five, six. First girl has six places to sit at. You know, when it, it, the first girl has occupied one space there, how many spaces will remain? So, second girl has five places to sit, while the third girl has uh, 
just uh, four places to sit because they are not sitting next to each other. So when one sit, the other one will look at the remaining position. It will sit there. It can sit at any of the position, and the other one will also sit at any of the remaining position as well. Now, for us to have the number of arrangement now, we are going to have it to be what is the number of boys? One, two, three, four, five. Five factorial multiplied by the number of places that are available for those girls now. Six times five times four. So that will be equal to 120 multiplied by 30 times four. That was 120. That is going to be equal to 14,400. 400 ways that is the ways that they can sit if those girls are not to be seated next to each other that is the answer to that question take your time the question here we have it this here this question you say you have to find the number of ways the letter of the word taco radi takoradi can be arranged when the two A's, this is two A's, when the two A's uh, comes next to each other, if they are going to be together, then the remaining letters there will be T, K, O, R, G, I. How many letters are we having? One, two, three, four, five, six letters. That is going to give us six factorial multiplied by then the number of ways where those A's cannot enter. These two A's now, they can either enter here, A, A, they, can, they are together. They can either enter here, or here, or here, 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 or here. They have how many places to enter now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Multiply by seven, which is going to be equal to seven factorial seven factorial is equal to five zero four or zero so that is the answer well, then that is the number of arrangement that this uh word can have when the two is come together now in this question here is in two parts it also also find the number of possible arrangement for the word mokinko if you look at this word very well, you discover that we have two O's and we have two K. Those are the letters that are repeated, that are written more than once. So, for the word Okinko, how many letters do you have there? For you to have the possible arrangement, so arrangement now will be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's a 7 factorial over, then those possible those words, letters that are repeated, will be writing their a factorial underneath. That O is repeated twice, 2 factorial, multiplied by 2 factorial. That is for the K that is repeated twice, which is going to be equal to 5040 all over 4. 5040 over 4 will give us 1260. So that is the answer to that uh, question there. How this how you can arrange that particular word called okinko. Look at the letters that are repeated. Then now the other question says that if the two O's are to be placed at the end at the both end, if the two O's occupy both end position of the word, so the two O's occupy A, they are unmovable there. That is what the thing is. Uh, so for the B part now, I say if the two all occupy both end position, we are going to have behind K I N K W. K I N K W. This position has been fixed. We are having how many data? That's five factorial over then for the K, the two K that are there now. That's two factorial. That will be equal to one twenty all over. So that is equal to 60 weeks if the two O's will just be fixed at the, the, the bolt end position. That is how you solve such a question. Stay tuned for the next question. I'm going to talk about the permutation in a ring. That is, 
the arrangement of object in a circle and as well the arrangement of object in a ring that can be turned over now if an object is our if an object is arranged in a circle the number of possible arrangement will be n minus 1 factorial that is the answer to such a question that is the number of possible arrangement for an object n that is arranged in a circle now if the object is now if an object is arranged in a ring that can be turned over the number of possible arrangement will be equal to will be equal to n minus 1 factorial over 2 that is the uh, when an object is arranged in a, a ring that is a, that can be turned over that is the, how you are going to find the answers to such a question now let's look at some question that have to do with the arrangement of object in the circle and in the ring. The question we have here says six different keys are kept in a circular ring. How many different arrangements of these keys are there? How many different arrangements of the keys are there? Now, if you look at this very well, you discover that the keys are kept in a ring. Now, for the arrangement in a ring, it will, a remaining ring is always equal to n minus 1 factorial over 2. Now, it is 6 keys. So, yeah, n is equal to 6. So, the arrangement now will be equal to 6 minus 1 factorial over 2 which is equal to 5 factorial over 2. What is 5 factorial? That will be equal to 120 over 2, which is equal to 60. That is the answer to that question. It is equal to 60 number of possible arrangement because those keys are found in a ring and the ring can be turned upside down. That's why you have it. That's the formula we normally make uh, use of when we have an arrangement in a ring. Next question says, in how many ways can four men and two women be seated at the round table if the women are, do not sit next to each other? So let M represent men. So when M represents men, we are having four men. They are sitting on a round table. When they are sitting on a round table, that is a circular, circular part. And uh, the sitting on a circular part is n minus one arrangement. N minus one factorial arrangement, which is how many of them? Four men. That four minus one factorial arrangement which is equal to 3 factorial arrangement for men why do we have it this way is that what we are asked to do is to look at the normal ways the four men can be seated but the condition there is when the two women are not seated next to each other these four men are seated accordingly but the two women are not seated next to each other so when two women are not sitting to each other when two women are not seated next to each other you're having men 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 
So it's either they occupy A or occupy A. One of them will occupy A, one of them will occupy A. We assume that they occupy the both end. That is two ways. Now, the remaining position where they can occupy can either be, now they occupy it like this, one, two, three. That means that the arrow of this one come down like this. Is that they occupy this three position? After that, three position, it remains two times three times two times one. So the number of possible arrangements for four men and two women to be seated on a round table when the two women are not seated together will be the what we have here that is for the main three factorial multiplied by two the two ways of the woman multiply by 3 times 2 times 1, which is going to be what? 6 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 1. 6 times 2 is 12 times 3 times 2 times 1 will be equal to 72 ways of arrangement that these are uh, four men and the two women can sit if the two women are not seated next to each other. Subscription to our channel is free, and when you subscribe to our channel, you'll be able to have access to all other lectures on mathematics and some other subjects that we have on our channel. It is free, and you will have access to study there. Very easy way of studying mathematics. Thanks, and God bless.